when will I stop singing badly? Um, it's supposed to be, will I see you again? But we know it's Thursday, it's tomorrow. Anyway, awful singing aside, I don't know of any other kind. It's time for the quiz. So, good morning. It is Wednesday, the 17th. Sorry, I really struggled reading my watch there. 17th of whatever month this is, and we are doing the quiz. So, I will look at the keyboard and embarrass myself and everyone watching, and then do this and move to the side of the screen where I belong. So, let us talk about the weekly quiz. Now, as usual, I have not checked the questions in advance. You'd think maybe I'd learn, but today is not the day I'm going to. So, it's the weekly quiz for this week. Here we go. Question one. The Queen's official birthday ceremony was understandably a relatively low-key affair this year. <laughs> I, I should hope so. What is the name of the ceremony usually held to celebrate the monarch's birthday? I'll be honest, there's a lot of questions about the uh, the, the monarchy here. I, I know none of them. Question A, is it the trooping of the colour? B, the changing of the guard? Or C, the ceremony of the keys? Question two. According to a new study by French scientists, I, I can't think of a joke, dogs are able to detect the presence of COVID-19 on inf infected patients by sniffing A, their armpits, B, their feet, C, their noses. I'll be perfectly honest with you, I have no idea where to jump with that one. I mean, I just don't. Question three, US presidential candidate Joe Biden has said he is worried Donald Trump might dot 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 question mark. A, try and tamper with the election results this November, in case you're wondering. B, Refuse to leave the White House if he loses the election. Or C. Declare martial law, military con control, over Black Lives Matter protests. To be frank, any of those is perfectly believable. Question 4. In which UK city did this event occur last week? Is it A. Bristol, B. Brighton, or C. Bath? To be frank, that last one's funny. Question 5. Why has Twitter suspended and removed 32,000 accounts from China, Russia, and Turkey? A. They contain government propaganda. B. They contain false COVID-19 cures. Or C. They contain computer viruses. Question six. What significant change has occurred with power generation around the Britain, around the Britain, I think you mean the British Isles, in the last two months? A. Daily demand for electricity in Britain has doubled. B. Britain has met 50% of the electricity demand with wind power. Or C. Britain has not burned any coal to make power. Interesting. I actually know the answer to that one. Question 7. The International Cricket Council has introduced a ban on players shining cricket balls using A. Saliva. Ugh. B. Sweat. Ugh. Or C. Hair gel. It could be any of them. Question 8. What is the name of this story that recently celebrated its 120th anniversary? That's because the story is older than the film. Um, I, yeah. Put him up. Sorry. Question nine. Who is being sued for at least five billion dollars worth of dollars worth of claims? Uh, no. For at least $5 billion, I apologise, for claims it illegally invades the privacy of internet users by tracking people while they're in private mode. Is it A, Facebook, B, TikTok, or C, Googler? Question 10. Why was one of Banksy's artworks in the news last week? A, a stolen artwork finally turned up in Italy. B, French authorities have accused him of breaking local lockdown rules to create it. Or C, it appeared on the side of the White House in Washington, D.C. Question 11. Why has mining giant Rio Tinto been in the news recently? By the way, so far I've got one mark. A. They blew up 46,000-year-old Aboriginal caves in Australia. Ah, I don't know the answer to this one, too. B. They have announced they'll be closing most of their global operations. Or C. They have discovered large gold deposits in the Amazon. I think I might have two marks now. Question 12. Which Asian country is home to this spectacular landscape that has been badly affected by flooding? Is it A, China, B, the Philippines, or C, Singapore? I feel bad that I don't know. I think it was in James Bond. Question 13. A deal has been struck between Anthony Joshua and Tyson Fury for two boxing, match boxing matches in 2021. How are the fights being promoted? A, the Battle of the Belts. 
B, the Battle of Britain, or C, the Battle of Best Friends? The last one just sounds bizarre. So it's probably that. Uh, it's sports. I don't know the answer. Question 14. The record label for artists that include Drake and Ariana Grande has stopped using which word in an effort to recognise the broad range of styles performed by its artists? A. Soul. B. Urban. Or C. Grime. I believe they're all things. Question 15. A British man was successfully rescued last week after being trapped down an Indonesian well. I actually heard about this while I was charging the car. For how many days had he been trapped? Was it A, two days, B, four days, or C, six days? Apparently, um, he alerted a farmer who happened to be passing with cries for help. Um, it, what was it? It was a 40 foot deep well. He got in there to escape the tigers or something, but it'll turn up. Um, yeah, bizarre story. Uh, coming hot on the heels of, what was it about? There was something about um, aircraft manufacture. I listen to the weirdest radio. Question 16. Which country has this flag? And it, well, no, no, that's probably a bad, bad joke. I'm not going to go down the bad joke route, except to say that the flesh of a pig has nothing in common with a common carrying container for an alcoholic drink. Question 17. True or false, sporting great Roger Federer has announced an injury will keep him out of tennis until 2021. I, I think many things are going to keep people out of tennis until 2021, but who knows? Who knows? Question 18. In what country would you be most likely to see a kookaburra? Is it A, Colombia, B, South Africa, Africa, or C, Australia? Which again is a joke that only I get. Question 19. Oh, we're nearly there. This is a short one. By how many, by, by how many, I, I can't even read. By how much have economists estimated the UK economy shrunk in April due to lockdown? That's how little money or how less money? The change in money being uh, exchanged between people for goods, services and or items um, across the country. Is it around 10%? Is it B? around 20% or is it C around 50% it's also forecast to be the largest shrinkage in any developed world economy in any country in the world so um that's fun hey we really are world beaters question 20 whoa i think that one's broken um has been in the news. Only Fools and Horses, open all hours. Picture of John Cleese, who is in neither. Uh, I don't know what the question is. It's broken. So I will come back to you on that one when I figured it out. Give me a moment. Um, I'm sure. Huh. I've ruined this one, haven't I? It's not really that difficult. What is the name of this iconic British comedy series that has been in the news? Is it A, Only Fools and Horses, B, Open All Hours, or C, Faulty Towers, not Farty Owls? So, um, yeah, uh, the, John Cleese is famous, of course, for saying he left London because when he looked out of his window, all he could see were black faces, and that's why he went to live in <clears throat> the Caribbean. I wish I were joking, but that's the reason he gave. By the way, um, the British comedy series that was, uh, well, one episode of which was taken off the TV, it's back now. Um, it was taken off as a precaution. So a precaution against what? I don't know. It's a TV series. Um, I actually think the episode is a pretty good one, though it does have some problematic aspects to it and always did because it was filmed in the 80s. Yeah. So I've ruined that question, but never mind. Hopefully you've taken part, and, and, and if you don't want to take part, I get it, it's fine. But please, do, send me the answers. It's always nice, and, and it just helps to find out how we do with the quiz each week. Plus, I fully intend on when I see Miss Weller on, well, hopefully before I see you guys, uh, on uh, trying to find out whether we still can get some kind of prize, whether I have to buy it myself. Don't mind buying it myself. Um, ooh, it'll have to be wrapped, though, because if on Thursday we have to share out a prize, well, I have to do it with wrapped sweets because I think that's the safest way of doing things. Um, we'll see how we go. Uh, I'll probably pour it on a tray and then I don't touch any of the sweets and you can take them as you leave. That's not a bad idea, actually. Yeah, we should do that. 
you know what, even if we haven't won the quiz, I'm totally doing it. So if you've watched this long into the video, well done, uh, I'm amazed. Um, and now you know something that people who haven't watched the video don't. If you have been, thank you very much for watching. As you can tell, I'm really looking forward to seeing you tomorrow. Uh, it'll be amazing. Uh, I'll think of something random. Um, of course I will, I'm me. Uh, I also hope to not be wearing this shirt because as much as I like it, I don't think it's the most professional shirt I own. Um, so, see you tomorrow um, in, I think we're in the refectory, that you'll be brought there by a member of senior leadership. So presumably it will be Miss Orabi or uh, Mr. Um, McNamara or Mr. Um, Nickel or Mr. Hardy even, perchance. I don't actually know who's going to be there on the day. Someone will bring you. Uh, you'll line up in the um, mugger, the mugger, uh, the pens, and you'll be brought across to the refectory. I forget which side we're in. And we'll discuss things there. I, I am genuinely looking forward to seeing you. Um, I wish I had something clever to greet you with, but I don't, except my face. I'm so sorry if that's put you off. I guess I can wear a mask. Uh, not like a face mask, I was thinking like something like a full front, like a, like a veil. Anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself. Have a lovely day, Year 10. Enjoy it and stay safe, and I'll see you tomorrow. No, wait, I can't.